Oh. Okay, no one comment on how greasy my hair is today. I am fully aware I need to shower. So it's Igal Dimply Bean at it again with another weird content. You guys must absolutely love these at this point. Or not, and you really hate this video. In that case, bye. I enjoy making these videos probably the most because it allows me not to worry too much about how it's gonna come out and just kind of do it. I don't know. I understand that it's probably not for everyone, so in that case, I'll see you tomorrow for a nicer video. I think that a lot of people are gonna really dislike this video because I personally would. But those of you who are wanting and willing to look at some weird shit for a bit, this is the content for you. I saw this video a while back, probably about a month ago. I tried to save the video in like a watch later. Unfortunately, I think the video got taken down or privatized. I think it got privatized. I'm not really sure. It just seemed to disappear. So I can't like refer back to it and give the original person credit because I can't remember who it was and I don't know. Basically what I'm saying is I didn't come up with this idea, but I saw it and I thought it was absolutely incredible and I had to do it. So if anyone out there knows who did actually start this, I don't know if it's a trend because I haven't seen anybody else do it since, not like the tiny face challenge, but it should be. So basically what this person did is they covered their face with a pair of stockings and tried to do makeup on top of it. And I think they, they did a pretty decent job, like much better than what I'm gonna do today. The result obviously was god awful because stockings over your face look horrifying anyway. So you can imagine what makeup on stockings on your face looks like. I also think that this is kind of a blindfold type challenge because I don't know how well you can see through stockings. I personally have never put them on my head before. I know that people rob banks and do it. So you must be able to see enough like, Right? I don't know, there's a lot of questions with this, to be honest. How horrifying is this going to be? You know, that's the big question. So obviously I got some stockings and I saw like these. They're like stocking socks. I didn't know that they existed, to be honest. They're pretty cool. So I thought that these would be better than an actual pair of stockings. So then I didn't have some like weird flappy bit like dangling down. I mean, ultimately this is gonna come out weird anyway. So at least we can reduce some of the weirdness. This is obviously foot sized. So I'm not completely convinced that this fits on my head. I do have quite a small head. Hopefully that works in my favor, but I stupidly bought these in the size of my feet. And if I actually thought about this properly, I should have bought the biggest size possible, but I didn't cause I'm stupid. And I just bought the size of my feet as if I'm ever gonna wear these on my feet. Okay, let's put them on my face. Got like glitter on my nails as well and they keep snagging it. So. <laughs> to a good start. I'm snagging my new skin. I got itchy nose. That's the thing I didn't think of. Maybe I should itch every area of my face whilst I still can. I'm not gonna put my hair up as well because I feel like that would add some width. Basically it's more for it to have to stretch around like a big bun or a ponytail. So I'm just gonna leave my hair down, figure it out from there. Okay. Mm. We're off to a bad start. How did this person do it? This is why I should have bought stockings. Oh. Come on, baby, get on my face. Oh, bold cap. This is a stretchy boy and he will go over my head, no problem. Question is, does he come down far enough? Why am I calling it hit him? That's kind of weird. Okay, let's stick this on my face, put my hair back and Now, do I leave my lips in or do I like spit them up? There's quite a lot of movement in this, which I think is pretty good. The nose situation isn't good. I might alter that a little bit. Is that better? Okay, okay, that's like on my face now. I can't like fully see, oh God, oh no. I look like when you're making your character in a game and you just start like fucking around with the settings and creating a funny face. I, I look like that. I can see my hooded eyelids like pushed into my vision. Oh my God, I can feel my eyelashes, holy shit. I didn't think that was gonna be possible. Maybe I can put mascara on, that's gonna be interesting. Okay, let's just, let's move on to the actual video. Start off with some primer. This is the only primer that I've got, which is e.l.f. I wish right now I didn't have this primer and I had like a liquid one, cause I feel like that would work better. But 
this is what we got to work with. Rather than using an insane amount as if to try and cover it, even though I don't actually think that this is possible to smooth any of this out, I'm just gonna apply, and the same goes with the foundation and the concealer, I'm just gonna apply the normal amount that I would do if I was just applying my makeup normally. Does that make sense? I think that's just my excuse. Ugh, I forgot to breathe. <laughs> I think that's just my excuse to me not using all of my makeup today because that seems a little bit wasteful. I ain't made of money, let's be realistic here. Okay, well, I'm just gonna apply this as I will. Oh, I can feel it, that's kind of weird. Of course I can feel it, it's got like tiny holes in it. So I'm basically just doing what I would do usually. Stick it all over myself. Oh no. Okay, so it doesn't actually rub in. It just kind of creates like little patches on my face. Why do I look like Squidward? This doesn't look right. My nose is crooked. Why is my nose crooked? Is this gonna like permanently disfigure me? Is this a really bad idea? Okay, let's move on. Um, we've done the primer. Let's do the foundation. My trusty elf foundation here. Okay, let's put this on. Oh. I think it still freaks me out, the fact that you can like feel but not fully feel it. I think the problem is with this as well is it has impaired my vision a little bit. I don't know how people like rob banks like this, but I feel like I can't really see this very well. I'm like looking in the viewfinder trying to see what I'm doing and honestly I can't, I can't see it. Right, usually I would do like a little bit over my eyes like that, but not a lot because then it kind of like creases a little bit. Isn't too pretty looking. I've noticed it in my videos before. It's a habit that I keep doing. I don't know why I do it. It's just something that happens. It's like I feel like my eyes need that extra coverage because I look so fucking tired all the time. It doesn't quite look as bad now as well. I mean, it still doesn't look great. That looks better. We're getting some normality here. Okay, we can move on. Right, concealer. And again, elf concealer. Let's fucking just, just, just go for it, right? So I do like dots usually. Pretty sure I just put that in my eye. And then I like put it on my nose, do, do the upper lip. And then I, I tend to do like a triangle up here. Maybe like whiten up a few areas. Whatever, it's all good, it's all good. Right, same beauty blender, because I've already dated it now, so is that working? I just meld it in. Oh, we're looking a mighty fine this morning. Kind of looks like I've got a moustache, pale moustache, like something's not quite right there. Okay, okay, well, I'm blending for like 10 minutes now. Okay, it's powder time because, you know, I want to look even more drier than I already do. I think that this ultimately is going to make like absolutely no difference whatsoever. <gasps> oh! Oh, I don't like that feeling. Oh no, that's not that's not nice at all. Oh, I don't feel too bad on the head, but on the cheek, it like strangely tickles and just does not feel. Oh, it feels. Great. I don't like that at all. That is not a nice feeling. Mm -mm. Don't like it. Mm -mm. Nope. Do bronzer now. Get this over and done with. <sighs> that doesn't feel as bad, but still doesn't feel great. Yep. Okay, we're not gonna do blush because I I just don't want to. But we are gonna do some highlighter. Got my. My cute little baby face highlighter. Is that doing anything? I can't really tell. I don't know, but we did it. Let's move on to the brows. Now this is gonna be tricky because I'm actually gonna have to try and like see things because at the moment I can't really see. Oh God, why do I look older? I'm not filming this in the best way, but honestly, we gotta be realistic with this and just try and do brows. And then the other brow doesn't look right at all. See, I don't think that the brows would come out this bad, but they look awful. It's like the texture of the brow, like the, the real brow is being hidden too much. It just looks really false and not good at all. I need a boo -boo. I'm not the best at doing brows. I used to have really thin brows that required a lot more attention, but now that I've stopped caring about my brow shape, they've kind of grown in a little bit, so I don't really have that need to artistically fill them in like I used to. I kind of just smash stuff in and call it a day. Whereas this requires some skill. It is what it is. It is what it is. Memes. Let's move on to the eyeshadow. So I've got a e.l.f. eyeshadow that I'm pretty sure I haven't put on in like years and years. I think the last time I saw this was back in like 2015 or something. Oh, I want it open. Going with this middle shade here. Genuinely can't see. I'm gonna go in with a darker one here. Just do the outer corner. Did something there, I can see that. To me, I kind of look like, you know those viral videos of people putting makeup on potatoes? I feel like this looks like that, but worse. Okay, we did something. I've got some glitter. 
Shall we do it? Why don't we just put a little bit of glitter in like the inner corners? This one's like a glue type glitter, like it's a gel glitter. So it should stay on. It didn't stay on. Let's see if bigger piece works. Oh God, none of this is working. How weird. Okay, well we can do some eyeliner. A little wing, eh? Oh, I feel it. Is that it? Where's that mirror? Okay, so the stocking is kind of like grabbing a hold of it and making it spread out. So the line that I created at the beginning has kind of just gone into my eye now. Can you see that? Yeah, it isn't good. I'm not gonna even try and make it symmetrical because ultimately it's just gonna like spread out anyway and go all weird. Okay, fuck it, they're on. Well, I got mascara here. Can I? My eyelashes seem to have disappeared now. They were sticking out before, but I think because I moved it around so much, they've now got squished back in, so. I'm just gonna like rub this on the stocking. Pretend that there's lashes there. Maybe that draws on some fake lashes. I don't really know. It's probably not doing anything other than making a mess, so. See, equally though, because my vision is so bad right now, to me, this looks kind of good, which I know isn't the case at all because every single time I get closer, I realize that it's really, really bad. But from this distance to me, looking at this through this vision, it looks all right. Like the eyebrows look really good, even though I know for a fact that they don't. Oh yeah, I'm putting on lashes. <laughs> Last step is the lipstick. I don't even know what this brand is. Marinese? 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 Matte Fidity Lip Rouge. And it's in the color New York. It's a rather nice, rich red color. Look at those lips. Oh God, it tickles. Mmm. I have to just overdraw them a little bit now. It's a thing because my lips are so squished. A lot of lip. <laughs> well, this is the final look. Um, yeah, I would say that this went pretty much exactly how I imagined it would. It was difficult to do. The texture was a big problem and I came out looking absolutely horrifying. This is my life right now. I feel like this is like basically how I feel. There's something poetic about this, something to be said like about our current situation. We're trapped inside. I'm trapped in this. You, you feel me? I feel like there's some confinement here that really reflects the fact that I'm confined in my apartment. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. This has really confirmed it though, that I am actually losing my mind. This isn't the act of a normal person. It can't be. I don't know for certain, but at this point I'm pretty convinced that there's something not right here. Okay, so this is it. I'm, I'm done. As always, if you like this video, then don't forget to hit that like button. If you wanna see more of this content or, you know, my less horrifying content, then click that subscribe button. If you wanna be a full-on stalker, then um, click the little bell icon and you will keep up to date with all of my shenanigans like this. And comment because my favorite thing that you guys do is comment because I like to read I'm kidding, I can't read. Wonder what happens if I peel this off. Oh. Oh. Well, this is most certainly a look. My nose hurts. <laughs> okay, the bold cap came out pretty good. This is Dimply Bean. Welcome to another video. Why am I doing that voice? I don't sound like that. I'm gonna keep this. This is pretty good. Oh, I've just got an idea. Hang on. Oh no, the lipstick is spreading. Beautiful. Oh my God, I have a friend. So this, this is how you combat the loneliness of being in self-isolation. Make yourself one of these. It's perfect. Why is the police outside? Stop it, solving the crimes. Let me know down in the comments what I should call my new friend here. I would like to know very much. I think they look beautiful. I think their lipstick is a bit smudged though. I think they need to work on their application a little bit. Yeah, I'm gonna go and set this up somewhere because it's just nice to have some company, you know?
Okay, bye.